Can anything stop the M240B machine gun? How reliable is the M240? Well, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going through the world's deadliest weapon of the 20th century, the AK-47. Before we get into the video, kindly note that the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only. Without further ado, let's dive in. The M240 is the US military name for the FN Mag, a family of belt-fed gas-operated medium machine guns that chambered the 7.6251mm NATO cartridge. The M240 has been in service with the US military since the late 1970s. It's widely utilized by troops, especially in rifle companies, as well as on land vehicles, boats, and planes. Though it is heavier than some comparable weapons, it is all well respected for its reliability, and its NATO standardization is a significant benefit. The M240B is chambered in 7.62 by 51mm, which has a longer range penetration capability than the 5.56mm round used in the M4 and the M249 SOL. The medium machine gun had served rifle platoons of the Army and the Marine Corps admirably in various wars and developments since 1977, when it was introduced as a replacement for the M60 machine gun of Vietnam history. Non-disintegrating belts can be installed on the M240 variations. There are considerable weight and functionality changes between some versions, limiting part interchangeability. FN America, the American division of the Belgian manufacturer FN Hestrel, now manufactures the M240s used by the US military. The M240B and the M240G are often fired from integrated bipods, tripods, or vehicular mounts, and the M192 lightweight ground mount is used by the US Army, while the M122A1 tripod, a significantly upgraded M2 tripod, is used by the US Marine Corps. The FN Mag, manufactured by Fabrique Nationale de Herstal, was chosen by the US military for several tasks following extensive worldwide searches and contests. The MAG is a general purpose machine gun that is belt fed, gas operated, air cooled, and crew served. Its versatility is evident by its ability to shoot efficiently from inherent bipod, placed on a tripod, on ground vehicles, boats, and aircrafts. The US Army first used it as a coaxial tank gun in 1977, and it was gradually adopted for further applications in the 1980s and the 1990s. The M240 and the M240E1 have been adopted for vehicle use. This led to more widespread use, particularly among Army and Marine Corps troops. While the MAG system shares many of the same basic qualities as its predecessor, it is more durable, resulting in greater reliability when compared to the M60. The MAG's gas system is more complex than the M60's, but it provides superior dependability and lowers maintenance requirements, however, at a higher production cost and weight. Its rating of 26,000 mean rounds between failure is quite high for its weight when compared to other machine guns. When it was first deployed in the 1970s, it attained roughly 7,000 MRBF. It is not as durable as some of the older, more robust designs, but it is extremely durable for its size. So let's talk about the origin for a little bit. The MAG was developed in the late 1960s and the early 1970s as part of a project to develop a new coaxially mounted 7.62mm machine gun for tanks to replace the M73 and the M219 machine guns that were in service at the time. The M73 was a troublesome model in the 1950s, and the M73E1 and M2119 variant wasn't any better. The M60E2 and the FN MAG were the final two options after a number of era designs from other countries were studied. For comparison, they were put through rigorous testing alongside the earlier M219 model. Mean rounds between stoppages and mean rounds between failures were the two key criteria examined. The M60E2 was a specialized coaxial variation that differed from several of the other variants, and the mag itself was improved. The M60 variations have a wide range of attributes such as the M60E4 and the M60C. The mag was a clear victor, and after army competition in 1977, it was renamed the M240. In 1977, the M240 was designated as the standard vehicle machine gun for the United States Army. The M240 and the M240E1 were also accepted by the Marine Corps for use on vehicles such as the LAV-25. In the 1980s, it was used to replace numerous older varieties of vehicle machine guns. The CAR-60 version of the M60 machine gun was retained by the US Navy SEALs due to its reduced weight and a slower rate of fire, allowing for a longer effective duration of fire with the ammo carry. The M240 was so popular that it was developed by the infantry as the M240G and the M240B later on. 
The M240G was accepted for this role by the USMC in 1991, replacing not just the original M60s used by the Marine Corps Infantry, but also the modified M60E3 that the Marines had begun utilizing in the 1980s. The Army chose the M240B for infantry duty in the late 1990s after considering the M60E4, which, albeit lighter and less expensive, did not offer a commonality with the vehicle-borne M240, other FN MAG users in NATO, or the USMC. Although the M240 has mostly replaced the M60s in most applications and roles, it does not completely replace all M60 models. The M60 is still in use by the Navy in some circumstances. The weapons fire from an open bolt position, which means that the bolt is held back and only goes forward when shooting a cartridge. The firing pin is stationary while the bolt revolves around it, eliminating the need for a hammer. A sear is used to time the weapon's interval systems so that they fire at a regular rate, assuring good performance and accuracy. Three distinct gas regulator settings can control the rate of firing. The weapon can cycle at 650 to 750 rounds per minute on the first setting, 750 to 850 rounds per minute on the second set, and 850 to 950 rounds per minute on the third set. Dismounting the barrel, removing the gas regulator collar, and rotating the gas regulator to enable more or less gas flow to flow through the weapon system are all ways to change these settings. It is usually only done when it is absolutely required to get the gun back in the working order after fouling has caused sluggish operation and there isn't enough time to thoroughly clean the weapon. The barrels may be swapped thanks to a barrel release button on the weapon's left side very quickly. The weapon is cleared first, and then the button is held down while the barrel's carrying handle is pushed from the right side to the center, unlocking the weapon from the receiver. The button is then depressed, and the barrel is removed from the receiver and set to the side. After inserting the replacement barrel into the receiver, the carrying handle is slid to the right, locking it in position. The barrel can become hot enough to cause second-degree burns without being noticeably different from the sustained firing. The M240 can fire 100 rounds per minute for an extended period of time, ensuring that the weapon does not overheat. It can fire 650 rounds per minute, although overheating is a real possibility. The weapon is known as the MAG-58 by its maker. The M240 follows the FN MAG-58 specs. Therefore, parts can be swapped out with other MAG-58s. Training, logistics support, tactical adaptability, and joint operations all benefit from the US forces with British personnel attached. For example, might provide replacement components for its GPMG L7 and vice versa. The M240 is a coaxial machine gun for tanks and a 7.62mm cannon for light armored vehicles. The M240 is part of a secondary armament on the US Army M1 Series Abrams tank, the US Marine Corps Lap 25, and the M2 M3 Series Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The M240 E1 is the Marine Corps variant of the M240 coaxial Penton Mountain machine gun, which may be found on vehicles like the Lab 25. It can also be equipped with spade grips, similar to those found on the M240D for further versatility. The M240C is the right-hand variation of the M240, which is identical to the M240 save for ammunition's cover and feed tray. It has right-handed feed for the use of coaxial machine gun on the M2 M3 Bradley fighting vehicle and the LAV. The M1 Abrams and other M1 version tanks, M1A1, M1A2, M1A2 SCP, are fed from the left. The M240C includes a cutoff pistol grip, a charging cable instead of a charging handle, and a modified paddle assembly that allows the trigger to be activated by a solenoid. The barrel of the machine gun is entirely exposed and must be handled with Bestos mittens during barrel changes because the machine gun is not designed to be handled while it's in use. But what should we cover next? Do let us know in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to smash the like button, also press the bell icon to be notified on our new videos. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other videos. But until then, stay tuned.